Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm slowly starting to go through some of my requests from you guys and this particular tutorial was a request and it is on how to achieve like um, teal colored highlights in your images with orange tones in the skin and keeping the shadows pretty dark still. So I don't know if there's like a word for those types of colorings, but it's pretty much how I explained. There are many ways to do these kinds of tones in Photoshop. This is just a particular way that I came up with or my take on it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy and hopefully it won't be too long of a video either. So one of our first adjustments that we're going to use is a solid color. And the solid color we can use is 171222. And we'll press OK. So this color is going to be like the base for our shadows. It's just going to um, really darken the photo a little bit more. We want more of a moody feel with these shots. So I'm going to set that to soft light and then bring the opacity right down to 34%. So as we can see there, that's kind of darkened the photo a little bit, given it a bit more of a, a moodiness about it. And then the next color we're going to bring up, so another solid color, we're going to choose 322. B3F and this one's a little bit lighter in color this is a, another purple color but we're actually going to use a different uh, blending mode for this one so we're going to set it to lighten so it fills in the shadows more and we're going to set that to 27 percent so it's kind of like layering colors <laughs> in this instance so this color has kind of filled in the shadows a little bit more given it a little bit more of a purple tone overall and then we're going to add another color. And the next one's going to be 52CFC5. And this one's going to be a bright aqua teal. I don't even know if that's teal. I'm terrible with my colors and I should be really good at knowing them by now. But anyway, uh, so that one's going to be set to darken. And what darken will do is it fills in the highlights. So, and multiply will generally do that too. It doesn't give it as an intense uh, effect as Darken. That's why we're using Darken for this particular um, tutorial. But I'm going to set that down to 18 because it looks a bit silly at the moment. So at 18%, you're still getting that teal uh, look overall. So that's before and that's after. So it's really given the image a bit more of a cooler look, but still kind of keeping some of the warmer tones in the skin color. But really, we just want the teal to kind of fill in the highlights and give it a bluish effect. The next adjustment layer we're going to use is levels because we want to bring the highlights up a little bit. So I'm going to bring them up to 243. We want them to be quite strong still for this toning. And I'll show you guys what that's done. So it's just brightened it up overall, brightened up the highlights. And then we're going to get curves. And I'm going to mark in a few points here. So we want the uh, shadows to look a little bit more lighter. I guess it kind of gives it that vintage look. I do this with a lot of my tutorials. For this particular request, it was very similar in the way that the shadows were kind of a little bit more um, lighter. And they kind of look a little bit more faded too. So we're going to move the first point up to 12 and 0. Then the next point is going to be 33 and 27 and the next point will be 85 and 79 so 85 and 79 then the next point will be 133 and 123 and the next point will be 224 and 214 and the last point will just be 255, which is already added at the end there. And then we're going to add one more color. And it's going to be, well, actually, first I'll just show you what the curves layer has done. So that's really just brightened up the image overall, um, given a little bit more strength to the highlights and filled in the shadows a bit more, like making them look more faded, if that makes sense. And then... Like I said before, we're going to get another color up now. This color is going to be 95611E. It's kind of like a burnt orange kind of color. And we're going to set this to color dodge. 
So this will make the image a bit brighter and it's going to probably affect the skin tones a little bit more. So we're going to set this one to 8%. So it's very low. It's kind of like a minor adjustment, but I'll show you guys what that does. And see, it does sort of brighten up the image again. And we're sort of getting more orange tones into the photo just to give the photo a little bit more contrast uh, from the teal. And then the last adjustment will just be a vibrance. And we're going to set the vibrance to minus six just to bring down the saturation a little bit. And we're done. So I will just show you guys a before and after. So I'll get back to my history tab that always seems to disappear. And I will take a snapshot. And the original image looked like this. And this is what it looks like now and before and after and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like on another image as well so I'll just pull this one aside and I'm going to select all the layers and drag them into this photo so the teal highlights are a little bit more apparent in this image so that's the kind of effect that we were going for so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was useful for you guys um, if you guys do use any of these tutorials or if you do follow them or if you use any of the adjustments on your own photographs, I would love to see them. If you have Instagram or post them online somewhere, just be sure to link me because I always love checking that sort of stuff out. So yeah, definitely feel free to do that. And thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.